The markets rebound after two consecutive days of losses by closing in positive territory. Here are the closing numbers. The Dow gained three points, 27,222 at the close. S&P 500 jumps 10 points to 29.95. And the Nasdaq rises 22 to end the day at 82.07. Market analysis now from Brian Mackey. He's joining us again. He's from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. And he's in the newsroom. Hi, Brian. Good evening. So kind of a meh day. What was going on on Wall Street? That's right. Pretty flat. Uh, stocks up by the end of the day, but actually spent most of the day in the red. Um, the market rallied the last couple hours on comments from the president of the New York Fed, who said that the Federal Reserve should be able to uh, come in and protect the economy by lowering interest rates if things get worse. Um, and that was actually interpreted as a positive sign for the stock market. All right. We touched on this just a little bit last night. Let's get into it a little more deeply. Netflix reporting earnings after the bell last night. How did its stock do today? So the stock was down 10% today, pretty disappointing uh, announcement there. Uh, the company basically had new subscribers that were about half the number they were expecting, 2.8 million new versus 5 million expected. And on top of that, uh, subscribers in the U.S. actually dropped in the quarter, so that was a big disappointment. Um, basically, the company said that they believe the reason for the, the disappointment was uh, price increases that they had done in the second quarter. And then on top of that, there aren't any new hit shows or, or movies that came out in the second quarter and that's what tends to drive those new customers yeah go make a hit show as if it were that easy <laughs> exactly. okay Microsoft reporting today after the market close how's the Microsoft doing Microsoft is doing really well uh, the stock is up about two or three percent in after hours trading right now uh, the report is just really good for investors um, sales 12 percent higher from a year ago earnings about 50 percent higher from a year ago um, a lot of that growth is coming from their cloud computing unit where sales are up about 64 percent and that's really been driving a lot of the Microsoft stock price increase the past couple of years. All right. We also heard from another tech company, the one that used to be the tech company, IBM. How's IBM doing? That's right. So IBM actually had a good day today. The stock was up about 5% or so. Um, but the report they actually came out with this morning was a bit disappointing. Um, sales were actually showed that they declined from a year ago and earnings were roughly flat. Um, but expectations were actually for even lower earnings, and that's why the stock was up today. The bottom line is when you're a company that is seeing your sales grow but your earnings are flat, you're able to, uh, you're going in and you're cutting costs at a rate that's keeping that earnings in check, and that's why the market was uh, a little optimistic today. All right, we'll keep an eye on them going forward. What do we keep an eye on tomorrow? So tomorrow, there's a few financial names I'd look out for. Uh, BlackRock, American Express, and the Boston-based uh, State Street are all reporting earnings in the morning. All right. Brian Mackey, Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.